हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इफ़ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सेज दैट द बोट लीव द पायर पी एट द सेम टाइम एंड ट्रेवल इन द डायरेक्शन शोन इफ वी एक्वल्स टू फोर्टी फीट पर सेकेंड एंड वी बी इक्वल्स टू थर्टी फीट पर सेकेंड डिटर्मिन द विलासिटी ऑफ बोट ए रेलेटिव टू बोट बी हाउ लॉन्ग आफ्टर लिविंग द पायर विल द बोट्स बी फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड अपार्ट so now we are given that va is va is given as 40 feet per second and vb is given is 30 feet per second and both the boats leave at this point p at the same time and one boat is moving with a velocity of 45 degrees and the boat a is moving with 30 feet per second and boat b is moving with 45 feet per second in this particular direction uh, relative to this absolute coordinate system this x y coordinate system so in order to find the velocity of boat a relative to boat b we have to attach the reference coordinate system to the boat b and we are going to find this uh, relative velocity of a with respect to b by using the graphical method right so for that is we know that uh, va this is uh, this is equal to vb plus vab and you people can remember this equation by remembering that this a divided by b multiplying this a divided by b with b so b need to be cancel out so this equation can be remembered like this so va will be equal to vb plus va divided by b so now by head to tail rule we can say that we b vector let me write that if if this somewhere here is my we b vector if this is my we b vector which has a magnitude of 30 feet this is we b this is 30 feet per second and we a is and and remember that this we b is acting at an angle of 45 degree this is given and similarly if if this is va which is making 30 degree with the vertical and this is 40 so relatively this vector need to be in in larger scale from that vb since it's 10 10 meter uh, per second is greater than vb so this is va which has a magnitude of this va is 40 feet per second so now from this equation we b plus we a b need to give us we a so if we if we are talking about the vector addition then by head to tail rule we b this we b plus we a b must give us this we a so now from this we can say that uh, we a b must be acting from b to a so from b to a this will be our vector we a b this is we a b so according to this equation we a is equal to vb plus vab so this is vb plus vab and this is va so now we have to find vab and as we know that this angle that va is making this va is making uh, 30 degrees so this angle is 30 degrees now let's say that this angle is let's say angle alpha so now from this we can say that this 30 plus alpha plus 45 these three angles must be equal to 90 degrees so now i can write that 30 plus alpha plus 45 degrees this is equal to 90 and from this we can write that 90 minus 45 minus 30 so 90 minus 45 is 45 and 45 minus 30 is 15 so alpha is equal to 15 degrees so the included angle between va and vb is 15 degrees so alpha this angle is 15 degrees now by applying the cosine's law we can find vab magnitude so from applying cosine's law we can write that vab square this will be equal to va square which is 40 square plus 30 square minus 2 into 40 into 30 and cos of the included angle between va and vb and to find vab magnitude we have to take the square root so this will give us vab magnitude and this this is equal to 40 square plus 30 square minus 2 into 40 into 30 cos of 15 
So, this gives us the relative velocity of A with respect to B equals to 13 point, this is equal to 13.483 and feet per second. So, this is the velocity of A with respect to B. And now, if, if you want to find the velocity of A with respect to the horizontal, let's say. Let's say if you want to find this angle theta. So, to find this angle theta, we have to find uh, this angle. We have to find this whole angle. So, let's say that this whole angle is, let's say this whole angle is beta. So, we can find beta by applying sine's law. So by sine's law we can write that sine of beta, sine of beta divided by the magnitude of the opposite side which is VA, the opposite side is this VA, so which is 40, this will be equal to sine of 15 and the magnitude of the opposite side is VAB, this is VAB. So VAB magnitude is known which is 13.483. So now from this we can write that sine of beta is equal to 40 into sine of 15 divided by 13.483. So this is 40 into sine of 15 divided by 13.483. This gives us 0 0.7678. So sine of beta 0 0.7678. And now if we take sine inverse, if I take sine inverse of the answer, so this gives us 50.16. So beta is equal to 50.16. But uh, when using the sine inverse, you people uh, must take care that sine of 180 minus beta will always be equal to sine of beta. So now from this we can say that uh, the sine value for supplementary angles will always be equal. So now what are supplementary angles? So supplementary angles are those angles uh, whose sum is equal to 180 degrees. So now we can say that beta can have two values. Either beta can be equal to 50.16 or it can be equal to 180 minus 50.16. So now 180 minus 50.16, this is equal to 129.84. So now beta can also be equal to 129.84 degrees. Now here we are not sure that whether this beta is equal to 50.16 degrees or whether it is equal to 129.84 since sine of 180 minus beta is equal to sine of beta. Now if I take sine of, if I take uh, sine of 50.16 which is this angle which is this angle so this must give us 0 0.7678 approximately so this gives us uh, 0 0.7678 this is 0 0.7678 now the sine of this value must also give us this since we know that this is equal to sine of 180 minus beta equals to sine of beta so now sine of 129.84 is also equal to this is 129.84 which is also equal to 0 0.76783 approximately. So now beta can have these two values but we have to verify that whether this uh, VAB is making uh, that 50.16 angle with VB or it is making 129.84 uh, degrees with this VB. So for that we to verify that uh, the actual value of beta we have to find this angle. We have to find the angle of VAB with VA. So now let's say that this angle is gamma. So now we can find gamma by applying the sine's law again. So now sine of gamma divided by the opposite side magnitude which is VB that is 30. This will be equal to sine of 15 divided by the magnitude of the opposite side which is VAB that is 13.483. Now from this we can write that gamma is equal to sine inverse. 30 sine of 15 divided by 13.483 so now the gamma value is sine inverse 
30 sine of 15 divided by 13.483 this gives us gamma value equal to 35.161 degrees so now the summation of alpha the summation of this alpha plus beta plus gamma they must be equal to 180 degrees so now the alpha value is 15 so 15 plus gamma is 35.161 this is this gamma and now beta have two values so beta is equal to this beta is equal to 50.16 so now let me add 50.16 so this is equal to 100 so this is not equal to 180 so now the other option for beta is this angle which is 129.84 so now let me add 129.84 so which is equal to approximately equal to 180 degrees so now this confirms that this this value of beta is the the accurate value this is equal to 129.84 so now from this diagram uh, this this whole angle beta this angle beta is 129.84 now theta will be equal to now as we can see that this angle is 45 so this angle must also be 45 since, since this angle and this angle they are alternate angles so this theta angle the angle of VAB with the horizontal is theta so theta will be equal to uh, that beta theta is equal to beta minus 45 degrees so this beta minus this angle will give us theta so now beta is 129.84 minus 45 so this is 129.84 minus 45 this gives us 84.84 so this is equal to 84.84 degrees so from this we can say that the the velocity of a with respect to b vector is making 84.84 angle with the horizontal and similarly in the problem statement it is also said that how long how long after leaving the pyre will the boards be 1500 apart so now we we know the relative velocity of a with respect to b so now if we assume that uh, boat b is at rest relative to a so if boat b is at rest relative to a then from va has a relative velocity of 13.483 uh, from b so now we can say that the relative distance of a with respect to b this will be equal to the velocity of a with respect to b multiplied by time since if we know the average velocity of VA with respect to B and if we multiply it by time so that will give us the distance traveled so from this the distance traveled is given we want to find time T so T will be equal to SAB divided by VAB and SAB is given it is said that find the time when the boards be 1500 apart from each other so this is 1500 right so as AB is 1500 so I will write 1500 divided by VAB which is 13.483 so divided by 13.483 so 1500 divided by 13.483 so this is equal to T equals to 111.25 seconds and if I if I subtract 60 from this answer so that will be equal to 1 minute and 51.25 seconds so after 111.25 seconds the two boards will be 1500 apart from each other so this is the solution of this particular problem I hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy